What's going on, YouTube? Today is June the 21st. It's Tuesday, y'all. And today we're making some compost tea for the garden. So what my son Joseph is doing is... Say hi, Joe. Hi. What Joe is doing is he's stirring up the molasses in the water. I use my rainwater. And we got about seven gallons of water in there because a five-gallon bucket wasn't going to be enough. So we did seven gallons. I put it in a tote. And right here, I got my molasses that he's stirring up on Stouffert. And we have some super tea mix that we're going to put in here that I bought, purchased from the hydroponics store. And this is supposed to give my uh, plants a nice boost. And also, we're going to do a foliage spray on them as well. I have my air stone. And we're going to let this brew for about... Oh, I'm going to say 24 hours. Uh, so we're mixing it today and getting it ready for tomorrow. So we'll come back. What's going on, YouTube? Today is June the 24th, 2016. This is your backyard gardener coming to you with a gardening update. So we did some compost teeing yesterday and I fertilized all my plants. I let my compost tea brew for um, about 48 hours. I was supposed to do 24, but I did 48 because I thought it was going to thunderstorm, but it never did. Over here at the blueberries, they are turning super blue. So that means they're getting ripe. And they're looking really good. My watermelon plants are vining out. Plenty of flowers on here. It's going to be a good year. The butterflies and bees is pollinating. Once the fruit set, you know, I'm going to put the cage on because the squirrels are going crazy. Even my honeysuckle bush is coming back. I had whacked that thing down real good. And this year is coming back. Over here is my muskmelons. Look how they didn't grow. They did real good. And this is that um, Brandy Boy plant that I told you about. It's doing really well, too. So I put some compost tea on that. Those are my cucumber plants back there, vining on up my trellis. I had to give it a little help, but still doing really, really good. Things are exploding in this garden. Here's my strawberries. More flowers, more buds, more strawberries. My Sweet 100 is doing super good as well. Look at all the plants, are, the flowers on my cucumbers. Going right on up the trellis. And over here, what I'm mostly proud of is my blackberry bush it was just a little bitty stem when I planted it and look how I had to bring a little trellis out so that it can vine up but that's let me step back that's doing real good I'm proud of my blackberry bush trying to make a comeback and my two strawberry plants on the side I don't expect any fruit off of it but I'm just glad that it's it's coming back for me I might top it off a little bit too. These are my um, King Lima uh, pole beans. They're coming along pretty good. They haven't really reached this trellis yet, but they're making it on. They're making their way up. And over here is my raspberry bush that's really doing great. I even have a red raspberry i actually had two i ate one and then after i ate it i would forgot i should have had it on camera so i got another one coming in only thing i'm having a problem with is these ants other than that doing good these are my striped bush beans they're still coming along pretty good got a little dead leaf leafage leaves on them but I'm going to pick those off. And over here. Now, this raspberry bush, 
Not sure what's going on with it. The leaves started curling and they started to dying like they were burning. I don't know what's happening. It seems like I'm getting some new foliage in, but I got to figure out if anybody knows what that could be from. You know, please comment down below and let me know. This is my raspberry, my second raspberry bush, and it's not doing too, too great. I might have to move this um from this spot because this gets a lot of sun but i thought that that's what they like but we'll see also got a lot of new projects coming up i'm in the process of putting in my um drip irrigation system as you can see started that yesterday i'm gonna finish it up today over here is my better boy and beef steak and my one um, banana pepper. I have a banana pepper that's on there and coming in already and lots of blooms. And this beef steak has gotten so tall. And the better boy is doing pretty good. I do have fruit on here and I've been watching the bottom of it. <clears throat> To see if I'm getting in rock because I started off getting it and I added some calcium to my soil. So I hope that that will rectify the problem. Today I am going to harvest some of my um, herbs and make me a tea this morning. But they're doing well. That's that one uh, bush bean plant. So I'm eating on the edge of it but uh, I got some new foliage coming in on it and look how my um <laughs> just look how my uh bell pepper plants and took off and those things has gotten tall and strong vines I have a lot of flowers I think I have some bells coming in pretty sure Lemon bomb is doing great. My mulberry bush is doing great. Even over here, my um grapevine is doing pretty good as well. Nothing is getting to it. And I'm really surprised because the other day I was outside talking to my neighbor. And a rabbit just... Ran up my driveway. Now, I chased the rabbit. And I don't understand why I chased the rabbit. Because I'm scared of rabbits. So, if I would have caught the rabbit, which you're not going to catch a rabbit. That's like trying to catch a crackhead. That's not going to happen. If I would have caught the rabbit, I wouldn't know what to do. If you would have turned around, he could have chased me. Because I would have ran. But it was just, you know, the adrenaline was going. And I wanted to protect my garden. So, I just ran after the rabbit. I don't know. It was instincts. But... Obviously, he's not able to bother anything so far back here, and I'm happy about that. I don't even know how he got out, but he he wasn't back here when I got back here. So, I'm glad about that. I have some projects coming up. I got some videos coming out. One of my videos is uh, about this drip irrigation system that I'm putting in. I'm halfway through. I just got to put my um, lines to each of my plants. And before I do it, I want to make sure I got everything where I want them to be. And I also decided to do my own composting. Now, I bought a compost. Uh, I bought a barrel, another barrel. And this barrel, this is my son, Joseph. Say hi, Joseph. Hey. Joseph is my baby boy. And he has been helping me so much in the garden. And I'm so appreciative for that because Joseph do not like to be outside in the garden he'll make every excuse in the book not to work in the garden but lately he's been real supportive and he's been helping me but with this barrel um i'm gonna I'm do my compost and that's another project that i'm working on uh i bought it in ferndale from a guy at this shop called brian it's two for twenty I mean, uh, $20 for 
for the barrel. I've already drilled my holes in it. I already got my pipe. I got my scrap wood to make my stand. I'll probably cut my door. I got that drawn out today. So a lot of projects. I've been making compost tea. I done brew it. I'm going to put it at the end of the video. I've brewed my compost tea. Yesterday I watered in everything. I'm about to start um, making my own compost. And I'm just really taking this gardening thing serious. Every year I choose to take it to a whole different level. And um, this is the level I want to take it to where I want to build my own, uh, make my own uh, compost. So again, this is your Backyard Gardener. I'd like to thank all my new subscribers who have been subscribing to my channel. And if you have a channel, a gardening channel, I will give you a shout out on there. On my next video, I will be giving shout outs to different gardening channels just to promote. And to keep it going because gardening is therapeutic. It's peaceful. And it's a beautiful thing. And this is your backyard gardener saying to everyone, happy gardening. Peace.